Hey guys, this is a follow-up video after my rendering tutorial on how to render in Cinema 4D and I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to make your renders look better or some questions that I've seen a lot in the comment section. Um, Google Chrome is updated and the magnifying glass is no longer here. It's just moved to the side. It's still here. If you didn't know how to post your character, you select the body part that you want and you open the arrow, pick which arm or leg or whatever, and you go to model. And over here, you make sure that the one stud is off. This one stud, what it means is that when you rotate it, it will be, it will have an it will be just equal, like, I don't know how to explain it. But make sure it's off if you want it to be, um, like, however you want it. And as you can see here, you can rotate it, or you can move it, and you can make it bigger, however you want. Next tip is adding gear. You can search for the gear that you want. I'm gonna, going to do a sword, or if you're, if you're wearing it on your character, and you open it in studio, it will automatically be right there. So we're just going to open the sword, and when this happens, press no. Then you're going to have this link sword thing. Drag it inside here, so it should be in this group. Then you kind of do the same thing as for like posing, just move it around, and put it where you want it. To move your whole head with your hat, click your head, hold control, don't let go of it, and press the rest of your hats and you should be able to move them all at the same time. If you want to do multiple people, go on somebody's profile, and instead of pressing the blue one, press the bottom one. Click it, and drag it inside studio, and they should be able to show up. Then, what you're going to do, remember, you right click and press export selection. Here is where some people also get lost. Make sure you're in the right place. I always go for my desktop. That's that because I like to delete them right when I'm done with them. So I go to my desktop and name it something that you're going to remember. So, hello. Next part. Here is something where other people get lost as well. You're not going to open up Cinema 4D. You're not going to open up Cinema 4D. You're not going to open up anything except the Lightroom. Click on the Lightroom, not Cinema 4D. And here is a new Lightroom, and I will leave a link for it in the description for you to download. Here on the new Lightroom, what you'll do, if you if you have this, click Null up here, and press Delete on your keyboard. If you're using a, the Lightroom for my old tutorial, that won't happen to you. Another mistake people are making is you're pressing Open. You're supposed to press Merge. Make sure you're looking at your desktop, and open up the OBJ. I have this here at 100 centimeters. You can do it um, as much as you want. Now, this is for the people who are using gears or using multiple people. Different spears will show up for the different things. If you have a gear, it will have its own texture, and if you have another person, it will have its own texture. You're going to have to play around and find out what is for what. So, look for the texture. Um, as you can see, there is three textures here, which should show up in wherever you save it. I got this one correct. Um, got this one correct. And then this one's a sword. Also, if it's blurry, remember, you go over here to a debtor. And no scaling. Okay, now this tip goes to every single person who watched my last rendering tutorial. If it's coming out too dark, this is what you do. Go up here and click this light bulb. Since I'm using a different light room, it's going to be different for me, but if you're using the old light room, make sure you're paying attention. And move this little light bulb to wherever you want the light to come from. Make sure it's in front of them, not behind them, to the side of them, in front of them. And I want it right here. Next, also make sure you're clicking on the configure settings. And once again, make sure you're saving it to your desktop. And press this. And this is how it looks.
before doing any rendering, before doing any lighting, if you want your character to have that kind of smooth effect that's not necessarily a brick, what you're going to do is you're going to remove all of these orange cones except for the first one and the two bottom ones. So, as you can see here, it's becoming smooth. Then you're going to select all the parts without the orange squares. Uh, this is a lot. And press U and S on your keyboard three times, so... U, S, U, S, U, S. And then that will happen. And once again, that's just optional. There's a lot of different types of renders, and this is how you can get those different types of renders. So you could really be very specific when you're rendering. Also remember, in Cinema 4D, the only thing you can do with your mouse is scroll. Remember, you use these four buttons at the top to move around. And if you need to move your character or your person or whatever, what you will do is make sure you have them selected down here. Just kidding. Make sure you have them selected up here. You could um, select all of them at once by clicking the first one and then clicking shift at the bottom one. And over here you have your move tools. Now, for adding bones, which is basically like making this like, you know, like little twisted, I'm going to link a, a link for that in the description. That is a separate tutorial, you know, not a tip. So yeah, thank you. I hope I actually helped you.